right. they finally could do what they wanted to do with their lives. And right. that itself was the life-giving doorway, I think, yeah. into a different life. Yeah. Yeah, so the, having that kind of an illness is such a wake-up call right. to, this is my life, mm -hmm. and it is finite. Right. And it almost ended. Right. And uh, what do I want to be now? And, right. you know, people look at my life, and I've gone back to being a neuroscientist or a neuroanatomist, but I'm not in the lab anymore. I'm not doing what right. I did before, but I went back to teaching gross anatomy uh, and neuroanatomy, but I really only did that because mm -hmm. it was easy for me mm -hmm. because the right brain still had the picture and I could sculpt for you an abdomen. I just lost the left brain language right. and I had to eventually come up with, you know, making a living. So I went back to being a neuroanatomist, but that wasn't my goal in the beginning right um, so so we you you figure out well how do I uh, weave my life now but how do I how do I value the people because mm -hmm. in the big picture of it all it for me uh, it still boils down to the love yes. and it's the love of honoring the fact that I am life yeah. I did not die that day mm -hmm. and and I, I have life, and what matters is you, and how we light that little spark inside of ourselves and make our little vagus nerves stronger so that we can all sparkle a little brighter. So, so to me, that's kind of what the book, the beauty of this book is your happiness bring our sparkle back. <laughs> and then if we have an illness, you're helping us figure out how might we bring our sparkle back? That's because fabulous. when you have that power inside of you, and that power is, we all have that power. Um, we talked about me possibly doing something. That's right. Would you mind if I did that? Absolutely. Okay, we're going to do something special. If you would, you're in agreement, right? I would like everyone to stand. Okay, put your things down, be comfortable. Now, we're going to think about what are the differences between what's going on in your right brain and what's going on in, in your left brain because they're completely different environments. They're completely different groups of cells doing completely different things with the same information coming in. So if you feel comfortable, I would like for you to close your eyes. As you stand there, I want you to put both your feet about shoulders length apart and balance yourself and realize that the left brain controls the right side of your body, your right brain controls the left side of your body, you are this completely beautifully integrated entity, this living being. And as you stand in that space, you stand there as both of these, both of these magnificent ways of being in the world. So I just want you to take a big deep breath and Ah, be who and what you are, and isn't that lovely? This is who we are in this moment. And then I want you to take a small step to the right. And as you take a small step to the right, you're stepping into the consciousness of your right brain. And your right brain is completely focused on what is right here, right now. And right here, right now is a perfect moment. And in this moment, we are perfect and we are whole and we are beautiful. And I want you to take another big deep breath, pulling the energy up through your legs and let your chest expand and let your head lift a little. And there's a light around us and feel that energy of what you are. Right here, right now, you are the life force power of the universe. You're the life force power of all those cells making up your body and let your shoulders relax and just feel, feel this beauty of being a living being. This is who you are in your right brain, right here, right now. So take a big deep breath and feel that energy inside of you. And let that out. Ah, lovely. Now I want you to step right back into the middle again and go back and you feel that little tingly glow now. There's a glow about you, but this is you in your right brain and in your left brain again. You're stable, you're solid, you're both. Now I want you to take a small step to your left. 
And as you step into the left, you're stepping into the consciousness of your left brain. And your left brain is going to take you into your past and it's gonna project you into your future. So it's the mind and the language going on inside of there. And this is going to in inhabit that stress circuit. And in that stressful circuit, I want you to think about your job. <laughs> I want you to think about your familial relationships. I want you to think about your finances <laughs> and it's tax season. And I want you to let your shoulders drop. And I want you to relax your knees and feel this is the weight of your life. Your left brain is brilliant in its ability to organize that data, but this is our stress circuitry and all the things that bring us from our past and all the emotional pain of our past. Feel that. And I don't know about you, but mine sounds like, Ugh. <laughs> so take a big deep breath in that left brain and go, <laughs> beautiful. Now, I want you to step back into the middle and I want you to shake that off a little bit and let yourself be solid in the mid, just in both. And now I want you to take that little step back to the right. And as you take that little step back into the right, let your chest lift, lift up, let your shoulders loosen up, feel the lightness in your body, feel the little glistening glow, all those little micro connections with people and other, just the energy of what you are. Oh, it's so exciting. <laughs> take a big deep breath and be that, and then let that go. And now step into the middle. Now, do you want me to take you back into the other one again? <laughs> Probably not. Okay, open your eyes. Now, the thing about this is that both of these consciousnesses are you. They are different anatomical machines in there calculating and organizing that information. And at any moment in your life, at any moment, somebody's talking to you, rah, 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 Take a step that. to the right. <laughs> let your shoulders and your sh chest, let yourself be that because that is you. It's always there. You always have the power to bring your mind to the present moment. I don't have to rah, rah, rah. He's rah, rah, rah. And I mean, I don't have to rah, rah, rah. That, that is my left brain engaging in that toxicity of that relationship. I don't have to go in there and do that. I can gently step to the right. He has no clue what I've done. I'm patient. I'm compassionate. I put up with as much of it as I'm going to. And then I manage myself without having to do that right back. All right? Helpful? Mm. Okay. Thank you. Yeah.